Oh, can you hear me? Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you, Victor? Fine, thanks. Here, starting the week. Yeah, it's Monday. Back, back in from vacations, getting back. Did you have vacation? Yes, I took all the week. So I, I take a, a long vacation. Okay, what what did you do on vacation? <laughs> Nothing, just stay home. <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no option. Yes, <laughs> it's it's better we don't we we decide not take any risk. It's better yeah. stay at home. Of course. Okay. Do you, do, do you have vacations? Uh, e, e, not really, but I. For me, for five months, no vacation, nothing. Nothing is normal today. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe in December, things will be normal. Maybe a normal Christmas. Yes, I, I hope so that Christmas is going to be normal. <laughs> yes, it's true. My, my daughter, my daughter said, said that Santa Claus coming by Zoom. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I hope. Okay. How are you, Madeline? Fine, thank you. How was your weekend? Your vacation, um, actually. Uh, I, I was sick. Oh, no. But I feel better. Right uh, now, so what's sick? Normal uh, sick or COVID symptoms? Sick? Normal, normal sick. No, no, no. COVID symptoms. Now, um, I have, I had flu, but normal flu. Okay. And uh, so I was sick for five days, and after that, I, well, in those five days, I took my medicine, and I felt better on um, day five so okay that's good uh now i feel really good um happy to to start to work again but okay and here take a class hey, very good <laughs> very good all right what about you jaime how was your weekend and your vacation um i was good but uh my wife she was sick with signs of coronavirus uh, she take the medicine of the government sent okay and i i had to uh, separate uh, yes separate and for a while and and take a a, a, a medicam too to prevent the okay the situation is your wife okay yes it's better now she returned to my house okay good well i'm happy <laughs> good for you all right yes nice what about you someone how was your vacation was very hi everyone hello uh, uh, the, the the last week is was very busy because I because I I I, I work in a, like a freelance so I, I so I you work where to, I'm sorry yeah I I I, I went up to, to sell my old products like a micro SCD, okay uh, welcome everything the the people. Uh, they want to buy. Okay. And I to uh, repair uh, some cell phone, computer, laptop. So very busy week. That's good. Yeah, because there was uh, uh, so much work to do. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So anybody had, um, did anybody go to the beach on vacation? 
Only my dream. Only my dreams, yeah. <laughs> and this is terrible that El Salvador is going to open now, right? Completely open. Um, the 23rd of this month, I think. Remember that? Uh, yes, it will be a mess, I think. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> yes. That's not, that's not necessary. Can you imagine? Yes. Uh, that, I don't think it's a good idea, but oh well. The problem Me is... Me neither. The problem is that um, older people, like like your father, your mother, your grandmother, your grandfather, that's the problem. Because if you're asymptomatico, it's good for you, but bad for your mother, father, maybe, because you can transmit the COVID to them. Oh, but, oh, that's not good. Uh, oh, well. Jasmine, how are you? How was your vacation? Okay, maybe Foster. What about you? How are you? How was your vacation? Oh, hi everyone. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Uh, well, um, nothing new uh, here in my house with my family. Um, doing uh, doing chores and do dishes, cooking, and take care of my baby, and my daughter, and everything the normal thing. And eating pupusas. So you stayed home. Yes, just stay home. That's I don't a good, think it's a good a idea. Perfect vacation. I don't think it's a good idea uh, uh, going out. Yeah, it's not. Maybe not for three three <laughs> more months. <laughs> not for now. Yes, and you, Gloria, did you have a good vacation? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I had a vacation from Monday to Tuesday. Okay. And what did you do on vacation? Oh, teacher, I ate it and it and I I was sleeping. And I watch in uh, movies. Okay. And I I read a book. Uh, I was read a book, and I was cooking in my house. That's good. You you were reading a book. What book were you reading? Um, for the moment, I, I read uh, the, the the Lost Girls in Paris. It's a history based in the real life for the years for the nineteen forty three years. Nineteen forty three. It's so, about the second World War II. Exactly. Oh, okay. Well, interesting. I like to read a lot. Yes, I like, but uh, it's the, uh, very difficult for the new vocabulary and the understanding. Oh, the oh and you are, reading in, you are reading in English? Yes, teacher. Oh, that's very good. How much do you understand? Um, it's about the new vocabulary. And for me, it's very difficult to understand the sentence, the completely sentences. OK, class, do you know the difference? Uh, class in general, do you know what is upgrade? Do you know what is upgrade? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. What is what is upgrade? 
in English. Explain to me in English. What is upgrade? It's For make the next better. level, teacher. Okay, next level. Make something like to improve. improve. Make something, something better. Okay, good. What is the contrary of upgrade? Downgrade. 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 Okay, very good. So this is what I recommend you. Um, you're reading a book in this moment, and if you think it's very, if 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 it's like really difficult for you, it's okay. It's no problem. What you need to do is downgrade. Um, I don't know if I told you before vacation. Remember, I told you that if you want to study, uh, listen to music, um, watch movies, watch TV. You you need to read something that you can where you feel comfortable. You know, like um, I recommend you to read like a perucita in English. Really? Yeah, and it's not it's not because oh, la caperucita is for children. No, it's your comprehension. It's because it's easy, and then you read it quick because. How do you want to read? Do you want to read like this? Mickey Mouse went to the store and bought two apples. Teacher está bien fácil. Dice que Mickey Mouse. It's not the comprehension. You want to practice your fluency. You want to read like this. Mickey Mouse went to the store and he bought two apples. And if if you can say that in fluency fast and it's no problem you understand every word good upgrade 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 until into where it's very difficult for you like oh oh this is you understand but um yeah sure. don't don't read the da vinci code <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Or, or Lord of the Rings in English, because <laughs> I don't even think people that speak English are native understand the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. No, that you know that that's how you practice. But that's good. That's good. I like that you you practice in English. All right. Okay. Uh, anybody else do something interesting for uh, vacation? Me. What you do, Elizabeth? My husband and I um, are working on an online radio with only Salvadorian music. Really? If you want to hear, hear, hear it, yeah. Escucharlo, hear it, hear you it. can download the Sinon Player app and search for uh, music, um, País Music Radio, Radio, País Music Radio. What app is it? We we are still testing. It is not public yet. Oh, I okay. give you the per, uh, premise, premise. Uh huh. The permission. The permi. Permission. Permission. Mm hmm. Yeah, you give me. You give me the permission, uh, or you give me access, right? Give you access. Mm. How do you? I, I don't understand you. So if I, you say that it's not running in this moment, you have to give me no, access No, yes, or it's running, but it's running, but no, it's public yet. Public. Okay, okay. It's an experiment. It's only for you, <laughs> for your oh, yeah. ears. Oh, it's only for yourself. Okay, no, my, interesting. And, um, what what do you do? Are you like a DJ? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Um, my husband has um, an um, a studio, music studio. Okay. And uh, he always dreams with the radio. So yeah. uh, uh, in this vacation, uh, because uh, weekend uh, out so do it the radio <laughs> interesting nice music yes. my, my only salvadorian music that's good that's good 
my my neighbor my neighbor in front is Ligia from um, Salsa Clave. Is DJ? No, it's Salsa Clave. You know Ligia Morales? Ah, Ligia Morales. Ah, okay. And William, yeah, they're my neighbor. A, sing a singer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. they live in front of my house. <clears throat> so uh, I always talk to them about music. Um, I ask, um, ask, pedirle? Ask them. Uh, uh, we ask them the, uh, her music. You want to ask her? We will ask for your music. No, for oh, her for... music. Oh, okay. Good, yeah. She's, she's a great singer. She's good. Or uh, to transmit transmit it in the radio. You know who lived in that house? Do you know no? e Eddie Santiago, the salsa singer? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. He lived there for two weeks. A long really? Time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago. But I remember he was living here in El Salvador in Ligia's house for two. So I met. Wow. I, yeah, I met interesting. Eddie Santiago. Yeah, it was interesting. Okay, what about you, Flor? Did you do anything special for a vacation? Nothing. But you know what? That's good. If you did nothing, it's good because you're safe. Nothing. I, I sat in my house with Octavia and with my husband. I studied English all, all week. Oh, wow. Well, maybe you can help me. I have a problem. In vacation, I finished all my series in Netflix. So I don't know in this moment. I don't know what to watch. If you can recommend me. I finished Sherlock Holmes. I finished, I finished a lot of TV shows in, in vacation. So in this moment, I don't know what to watch. I was like, hmm. What do I watch? What do I watch? Mm -hmm. I will yeah. recommend you The Alienist. I seen it. I am I am on it. Oh. Yeah, you Better I Call Fall. I'm sorry? Better Call Fall. Vertical Fall. Better Call Fall. No, I don't know which one's that one. Yeah. In Spanish is, Saul is the lawyer of Breaking Bad. Do you do you see did you oh, see ba Breaking oh. Bad? Better call Saul. Better call Saul. Sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I know it's difficult to pronounce. I know. Yes, yes. Yeah, oh, I like that show. Yes. Saul um, Goodman. King of Yes, Saul Goodman. <laughs> I like that. I show. love him. I yeah. love him. Yes. But but you know what? I like him better. I I feel that show is a little it was, it's good. It's a very good show, but it's a little, little boring sometimes. It is slow. Yeah, the first, slow. the first, second season was very good, but now it's slow. You know, I, I, I want more. Yeah. I want more. I recommend yeah. you. I recommend you watch Sherlock Holmes. It's, it's a great show. It's good. Okay. Okay, okay class. So remember before vacation. We finished, uh, well, actually, we were doing active and passive voice. Do you remember that? Yes. 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 And do you remember, I gave you two explanations. One was what? The grammatical explanation, and the second one was the logical explanation, I think. All right, very good. Thank you, Oscar. Can you please give me the grammatical explanation? <laughs> the grammatical explanation, it was when we talk about the subject and object, the position, and where, where the subject is uh, located in the sentences. Okay, so uh, can you tell me what is an active voice? Active voice is grammatically when, speaking. Grammatically speaking, what is an active voice? When you put the subject before or in the in the in the um, first position. Okay. Uh, uh, like um, 
No, okay, good. So you put the subject first, and then? Uh -huh. Yeah, and then the, the, the uh, you are doing the, you, you are emphasize, emphasize in the subject, right? No, now you gave me the logical explanation, but that's good. Okay. No, but, no, no, but very good. So the grammatical explanation for active voice, yes, the subject is first and the object is last. This is the last, yeah. Okay, Josue Perez, what is the um, what is the passive voice, the grammatical explanation? Okay, teacher. I remember the passive voice is this the object is first and the subject is last. Very good, very good. Thank you very much. Yes, so. Yeah, that, that would be the grammatical explanation, right? When we say, an, when we speak in active voice, the um, subject is first and the object is last, of course. And then when we speak a passive voice, the object is first and the subject is last. Um, Luis Enrique. Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for asking. So, is the subject the same story? I'm sorry, is the active voice the same story as the passive voice? Uh, technically, it's uh, the same thing, but... In the... Okay, good. Okay, so it is the same story, right? The same so, story, yes. So what is the difference then? The difference is, is, is the emphasizing the, the subject uh, in the first, the, the active voice, and then in passive voice, we... We made an emphasis in the subject, but the logical grammatically is, is, is in, the, in the structure in the, in, the, in, the same, in the same way. Yes. I yeah, very, no, no, exactly, yes, is that. So pretty much the difference is, the logical explanation is when, um, who, who you want to emphasize. If you want to give more importance to the subject, then speak active voice. When you want to um, emphasize or give more importance to the object, you ask the passive voice. Okay. Um, uh, and let explanation, I think it's, it's, it's not necessary to uh, to mention the the door, the, the door is uh, is logically identified when 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 is the, the which is the object in which, in which is the subject yes yes yeah that's what we're going to see in this moment okay um who is married here who is married oscar you're married i'm married yeah okay so uh luis medrano are you there Yes, I'm here. Okay, I need you to listen to this conversation. Well, I need everybody to listen to this conversation. But um, but I'm going to have a conversation right now with Oscar. So anybody listen because I'm going to ask you a question. Oscar, so you're married. Yes, I am married. Okay, now Oscar, thank you for answering complete. Everything I ask, answer complete. Okay, Oscar? Um, okay. Where... Did you ask your wife to marry you? Well, I asked to my wife to get married uh, in a dinner. We went to a special place for both of us. And then I asked Pero her bueno, to get married. No, pollo campero. no, it was Pizza Hut. <laughs> okay, good. It's, it's more romantic people. <laughs> I'm ki just kidding. <laughs> okay, so you you asked your wife to marry you in a special place in a restaurant. Yes. All right. Good. And what did she say? Well, she say yes. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes sometimes you need to ask three times. <laughs> okay, good. Luis Medrano. Yes, teacher. Um, 
he asked his wife to marry him in a special restaurant. Is that active or passive? Yeah, active. Very good. And that's normally how we would say it, right? Yeah. But there's a passive way of saying this. What would be the passive? Mm -hmm. Check a. Mm -hmm. Her was asked to be married by him. Who is her? Their wife. Okay, so Oscar's wife. Oscar's wife was asked mm -hmm. to be married by, by him. Okay, so Oscar's wife was asked by him to be married in a, in a restaurant. In a special restaurant. Good. It sounds strange, but it is correct. It is a passive voice. All right. Um, Brenda, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi, Brenda. Yes. How are you? Fine. What is your favorite movie? Um, the Lord of the Ring. Oh, give me another movie. I have not seen The Lord of the Rings. Um, <laughs> Let me see. I love movies. Movies is my passion, is my hobby, but I don't like Lord of the Rings. I don't know why. Mm, I don't know. The Lion um, King. A... The, the Lion, Lion King. King. Okay, good. The Lion King. But but the cartoon, correct? Because the, yes. the new version was ugly. No. Okay. Who killed Musafa? Can you answer in a passive form? Mufasa was killed for, I can't bye. remember the name. Bye. 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 Scar. 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 Yeah, by Scar. Yeah, Musafa was killed by Scar. And who killed Musafa? I'm sorry. Who, who, who killed Scar? Simba. Simba what? was killed by Simba. <laughs> yeah, good. Scar was killed by Simba. You see, this is this is a good way to practice because everybody knows everybody knows um the Lion King. Yes. All I'm right, sorry. Barry. Mufasa Scar was killed by the by the Iena. Oh yes, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> he was killed by the hyenas. <laughs> Hyenas, okay. Yeah, hyenas. Yeah, that's how you say it in English. Yes, it's true. Hyenas. Yeah. Gainas. Hyenas. Hyenas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's similar to gainas, but you don't say a G, you say an H. All right, good. Um, thank you. Noe, are you there? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm sorry, do you remember what the last class we did a week ago? We were talking about also pronouns, right? Remember um, the difference between I and me? Yes, I remember. Yes, you remember? Yes. Okay, Luis, Luis Medrano, do you remember the difference between I and me? Yes, I was active and me is passive. Very good. Can you um, can you tell me which is correct then? My wife and me bought a piñata for my son or my wife and I bought a piñata for my son? My wife and me bought a piñata. Okay, that's correct. I think so. Okay. What is the difference between I and me? Uh, the active is, is 
me is I, and okay. because it was me. And okay, very good. In the sentence, my wife and me, I think it's the correct. Oh. Uh, it is, but in, in this case, uh, the two oh. persons uh, are of, uh, a subject. Excuse me? In this, in this example, uh, the two persons that participate uh, are a subject. It's a passive voice, the two. Actually, yes, in this case, it's an active voice because my wife and I, I. Are, oh. are the subjects. Yes. Because my wife and I did the action. What, what did my wife and I do? We bought a piñata. But don't worry, I mean, this, this example, even native speakers say it wrong. Everybody <laughs> says it wrong. I, before I was a teacher, before I was a teacher, if somebody asked me, hey, what's the difference between I and me? I say, I oh, know there's no difference. It's the same thing. You can say my wife and I, my wife and me, it's no problem. <laughs> so don't worry about it. But yes, the, grammatically, there is a difference. Okay, so um, my wife and I bought, my wife and I bought a piñata for my son, okay? Okay. All right, who can give me an example with my wife and me? The piñata was bought by my wife and me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Who bought that piñata? It was bought by my wife and me. My wife and me. Good. I use it as my wife and I. All right, so I'm going to share the screen with you real quick. Another question. Um, if, if the active is future, what is the passive? So if the active if the active sentence is future, what is the passive? What tense? Past participle. Simple future. The, the piñata will bout. No, no, uh, no, not, not, exa not necessarily the piñata, but imagine the, the the example given. If if the sentence is future, an active. What is the passive? Okay, somebody said past participle. Okay, let, let me explain something. If the active is future, the passive is future. If the active is past, the passive is past. It has to be the same. Nothing changes, mm -hmm. only the subject and object. But do you see my screen right now? Yeah, we can. Yes, I can see. Yes. Yes. Okay, there's a difference between past participle and present. Um, what is a past participle? Do you know what that is? Who can tell me what is a, the definition of a past participle? Is the voice passive, teacher? Past participle is, I remember, okay. is uh, so, something that happened in the past, but is um, continuous, this is to the continuous present. at this time. Yes. Okay, good. Um, yes and no. I, I, I need you to understand this. Past participle is not a tense. It's a form of a verb. Okay. Let me explain. A verb has four, how many forms does a verb have? Four. 
simple I, I I I really need you to memorize this. Simple form. Simple pass. ING form. Form and and past participle form, okay? Um, these are not tenses. These are forms of verb. If the verb is eat, it's the simple form. What is the ing form? Eating. 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 Eating, Eating right? What is the um, simple past form? Eight. 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 Good. And what is the past participle form? Eighteen. 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 Good. Eaten. Okay. I. This is important because pa past participle, simple past form, ing form. They're not tenses. They, they. Remember that they are not tenses. They are forms of verb. So if you learn, for example, if you learn a new verb. Okay, people, we're going to study simple future. Simple future, we, we use going to and the verb in simple form. Oh, okay. Okay, today we're going to study progressive. Or in progressive, we use the I am and the verb with ing form. Okay. Mm. And, and listen to this. Today we're going to study present progressive. What is present progressive? Oh, when we say an action of, a, of an action in, in progress in this moment, I am eating. Okay, what is past progressive? I was eating. What is future progressive? I am going to be eating. But if you notice in all the progressive, we use the verb in ing form. Okay, so then we have the simple past and then we have the past participle. So what does this mean? Past participle is when we speak a passive voice, we say the verb in past participle form. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's future, past, or present, but the verb in, in the passive voice is always going to be past participle. And this is how we were going to do it. What is simple future? What I am going to is future, simple future, correct? Yes. What's yes. next? After I'm going to, what's next? Verb. Verb. Simple form. Verb in simple form. Very good. And next, what is next? Complement. Thank you. So, Man, what's wrong with you? So I am going to the verb and the complement. Yes? Or I will. Do you remember what is the difference between I am going to and I will? Yes, you said uh, will is a compromise with yourself and going is it, it's like a plank. Yeah. The two, remember, sometimes the import, um, sometimes there is no difference, but sometimes the difference is very, is very big. So yes, okay, let's stay with I'm going to. So I'm going to do this. I am going to give an example i am going to make make a cake cook my dinner okay good i'm going to make a cake <laughs> let's have more a uh, chocolate cake okay this is simple future, yes, because we're saying I'm going to and the verb in simple form. 
So, is this active or passive? Active. 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 It's active, right? Yes. What is the passive? The chocolate cake by will chocolate cake will will, will be made will made by me by me. Okay, although I preferred, I prefer because I I said I am going to. I would stay with also in passive going to. So the chocolate cake is going to be made by me. Cake, uh huh. Okay. Made by me. It's so look. To be made by me. Mm -hmm. So, in an active, we had the simple future, and in the passive, also the simple future. The only difference is, of course, the subject and the object, and the verb. The verb in a passive voice is always going to be in the past participle form, always. So let's say, um, Jaime, can you tell me this? I'm going to make a cake in, oh, I hit my head. <laughs> mm. Ow, I hit my head in this stupid flower. <laughs> okay. Um, can you tell me, I'm sorry, Jaime, right? Can you please tell me this in, Present progressive, the same story, please. Present progressive. Um, the active. I, 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 so remember, in present progressive, what I'm, form? Of, what 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 form of verb do we use? Get on, uh, going. Making. ING, right? Yes, I do. I am uh, making a chocolate cake. Exactly. I am making a chocolate cake. Very good. Is that active? Yeah. I am making a chocolate cake. So, Luis Enrique, what would be the passive? Um. Chocolate cake um, is will make him by by me, no? Will be made by me. Remember, we're we're in present progressive here. Present continuous or present progressive is the same. So is the action is happening now. I am making a chocolate cake. Imagine I go to your house. Hey, Luis, what are you doing? You say, hey, come in, man. I'm making a chocolate cake. What is the passive? Chocolate, chocolate cake is making by me. I think. The chocolate cake is being made by me. Is being made. Mm -hmm. So here you see being. Here we have the verb. This is present progressive. Chocolate cake is being being mm -hmm. made by me. Form. Yes. Fíjense que irónicamente estas son de las pocas cosas que la gramática es idéntica en inglés y español. Porque si ustedes ven aquí, dicen, yo estoy haciendo un cake de chocolate. Y en pasivo es, el cake de chocolate está siendo hecho por preparado. mí. Preparado. Ah, o preparado por mí. Y si se dan cuenta, también en español se usa el verbo en la misma forma, siempre, en participio. Mm -hmm. so, ajá, son de las cosas okay. irónicas que la yeah, yeah. es el mismo formato en todo si ven aquí yo voy a hacer un cake de chocolate y el cake de chocolate va a ser hecho por mí 
es la misma gramática. Del mismo formato usan. Saber quién le copió a quién. Mm. Ok, and I need a woman now. Let me see. Brenda, you there? Hi, Brenda. Hi. Brenda, what is this in simple past? I am made a chocolate cake. Okay, one thing, remember in simple past, I am made. I was made. Uh, I made. I made. Yes. Yeah. I made a chocolate cake. I made a chocolate cake. Yeah. So remember, simple past is simple. Yeah, just, I made a chocolate cake. I, the verb, and the complement. What is the passive, Luis? Oh, Carlos, what is the passive? Hello. Hi. Uh, the chocolate cake was made by me. Very good, yeah. The chocolate cake was made by me. Very good. So imagine, um, Imagine I go to your house, you invite me to dinner, and I say, man, this was a great dinner. Thank you very much. The tamales and the pupusas were excellent. Oh, and you can say, oh, very good, thank you. I made the pupusas, but the tamales were made by my mother. Yeah, so you can speak like that too. Or like I go to your house and I said, man, that was a great chocolate cake. It was very good. And you said, oh, yeah, that chocolate cake was made by me. Oh, very good. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so very good. I see you have no problem. So remember, if the active is simple future, the passive is simple future, always. Only the verb is in past participle form, always, like in Spanish. Okay, if the active is present continuous, also, the, um, the passive is present continuous, but the verb is always in past participle. Um, here's, a, here's a question for you. Simple form. ¿Qué es el ING form? If, 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 si yo les pregunto en español, ¿qué es el ING form? ¿Qué me dijeron? Comiendo. Uh -huh. Comiendo. Ando, endo. Exactly. Good. Ando, endo. Entonces, eh, Mar Maricela, ¿cuál sería el past participle form? Ido. Ajá. Uh -huh. Well, it's actually mm -hmm. ado, edo, ido. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ado, edo, ido. Porque it's raining here. It's raining? Yes. It's very difficult to hear now. Oh, man. Where do you live? Sorry? Where do you live? You know, hospital in Santa Ana. Okay, so it's raining in Santa Ana. So maybe, maybe in 30 minutes it's going to rain in San Salvador. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I hope because it's hot. It's very hot. Okay. Um, what is the passive of he? Him. Him. What is the passive of she? Her. 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 What is the passive of we? Us. Oh. Us. Us. Good. Um, hold on.
What is the passive of they? Them. 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 Good. So, so we have I, I and me. These are all pronouns, correct? These are all pronouns, correct? Mm -hmm. So, what what is the difference, though? So, what is I, you, he, she, we, and they? What type of pronouns are they? Subject pronouns. They're what? Subject pronouns. Subject pronouns. Subject pronouns. Good. And me, you, him, her, us, them are what? Subject pronouns. Subject. Exactly. Subject. Very good. Now. Check this out. Oops. <clears throat> myself. What is myself? Who can give me an example with myself? I can do the homework by myself. Is okay. is post post is uh, possessive. It's possessive. Okay, somebody said I can do I can do the homework by myself. Where is the possession? Mm. <laughs> There's no possession. Mm. <laughs> okay. Good. It's, yes, it, it, it sounds like a possession, but no, it's not a possession. Think about it. Myself. Me mismo, but... By me. Myself. <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you an explanation. If you think, if you think, you know, then you tell me, okay? I'm going to give you an example with I. I am going to <clears throat> buy flowers for my wife. Is that correct? Repeat, please, teacher. I am going to buy flowers for my wife. Okay. Okay. Is that correct? Yes. yes. My, my wife is going to buy a PS5 for me. Oh. Lo dije a propósito porque me estaba diciendo. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. And this quarantine is, is a good stuff to, to have it. Director. Okay. My, my wife is going to buy a PS5 for me. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. the subject and object is correct. Okay, good. Now myself. I am going to buy myself a TV for Christmas. So what is myself? What is the subject? I am going to buy myself a TV for Christmas. What is the subject? I and the object I, myself, TV? yeah. Actually, yeah, as vamos. Myself is when I am the subject and I am the object. I am the subject and okay. I am the, the, the object, yeah. Um, okay, so uh, actually, look, you can't say I am going to buy him a TV. I am going to buy her a TV. I am going to buy them a TV. Yes, it's correct. But you can't say I am going to buy me a TV. You're going to say I'm going to buy myself a TV. So this is a reflexive pronoun. This is you did the action and you received the action. Mm -hmm. So these are called reflexive pronouns. Your self. 
yourself. Who likes history? Me. Okay, you like history, Foster? Yes. According to history, who killed Hitler? Uh, according to history, uh, he killed himself. Good. Ayuba Musa himself. Himself. He, he, himself. he killed himself. Kill. Because you can't say he killed him. Mm -hmm. Right? It has it doesn't make sense. You can't say, oh, Hitler killed him. He killed himself. He killed himself. Yes? Okay. So now what is the reflexive of we? Ourselves. Our self. Self. Excellent. Selves. And what is the reflexive of them? Of they, I'm sorry. Themselves. Themselves. So, so if you, I, I know that if you understand myself, you understand yourself, himself, herself, ourselves, and themselves, right? So, for example, listen, um, for me, si llego vivo en la vida, I am going to buy my wife a dress. I am going to buy my son um, uh, a bicycle, and I'm going to buy myself um, a new camera. I keep on doing so myself. I don't say I'm going to buy me. If you notice, I said I'm going to buy my wife, I'm going to buy my son, and I'm going to buy myself. Quedo entender que yo mismo me voy a comprar algo. Yes. So I am going to buy the camera, not for my wife, not for my son. The camera is for me. So I'm going to buy myself um, a camera. Um, Brenda, what are you going to buy yourself for Christmas? I am going to buy my. I know, self. I know, I know, I know. Before you answer, shoes. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I imagine. Okay, so what are you going to buy yourself for Christmas? I knew it too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Foster. Women, in, women in shoes. Okay. So, Brenda, what, what are you going to buy yourself for Christmas? I'm going to buy myself. Uh, for Christmas, a pair of shoes. Very good. Yes. All right. So now we understand the difference between I, me, and myself, correct? Yes. We can say yes, that. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Um, we yes? can say that the reflexive pronoun we use when the object, when the object is the same subject Exactly. In the, se in the sentence. Exactly. That is a reflexive okay. pronoun. Okay. The reflexive okay. pronoun, yeah. But you can never say this. I am going to buy himself shoes. You can't. Uh, no. If you say myself, the subject is I. I, yes. Yes. If you say um, ourselves, the subject is we. All right. All right. Good. So myself is a. So then, what are these called? Remember the reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns. Very good. Yes. Hoy con alguien día, ¿y qué es esto? Pronouns. Good. Pero qué tipo de pronouns? It's pronouns. Hard pronouns in person. And now we're going to go. Les estoy diciendo esto porque quiero que sepamos esto bien porque vamos a hacer más ejercicios un poco más difíciles usando activos y pasivos. Ok, y vamos a tener que usar a veces yourself and himself. Yes. Ok, um, my y mine. 
What is the difference between my and mine? Mine is it's like possessive. Possessive. <laughs> uh huh. You try to tell somebody that something is yours, is yours. Proper. And what is mine? This computer is mine. Okay. Um, listen to this. And you tell me, a ver quien capta la diferencia. Jaime, are you there? Yes, sir. Jaime, what is your favorite color? But answer complete. My favorite color is uh, green. Good. Mine is black. Um, Alexandra. Yes. What is your favorite movie? Um, maybe it would be Constantine. Answer complete. My my favorite movie. My favorite movie is Constantine. Oh, good. Mine is Pulp Fiction. Oh, my, sounds good. With yeah, Tarantino. Uh, Tarantino. Tarantino yeah. Yes. Oh, I like that kind of. You know. Yes. Like um, somebody, Oh, me too. For me, for me, Tarantino is a religion for me. All his yeah. movies. Um, yeah. Good. Brenda. What is your favorite rock group? My favorite rock group is U2. No. Yes. Mine too. <laughs> Mine too. I, I am a very extreme big U2 fan. U2, Radiohead, the patch Mode, Pearl Jam. Okay. ¿Qué hice yo diferente a Brenda, Alexandra y Oscar? Que yo omití la posición. La posición, I'm sorry. Right? Mm -hmm. Brenda dijo, my favorite rock group is U2. Mine too. My favorite movie is Constantine. Oh, mine is Pulp Fiction. So the difference between my and mine, when you say my, you introduce the possession. When you say mine, the possession is introduced. Example, my house is yellow. I just did mine is mine green. is white. Good. I don't think I can see the mine house. Why? Because I introduced the possession con my. Okay, but this we're going to continue tomorrow. Okay, with my mine, your yours, he, his, her, hers. Is to do a reference to the talk the the we are talking. Exactly, yes. When the possession is introduced, then we use mine. When you want to introduce the possession, you use mine. My name is David. Mine is Roberto. Yes. So, yeah. para que no se oiga mucho, my name okay. is David. Yeah. Hi, my name is Carlos. You just say mine is Roberto. Mine is Sofia. Okay. It's like a short answer. A short answer, but because somebody already introduced at the topic the their tema yes. you know yes. we'll, we'll okay. practice this more tomorrow porque como les digo vamos a practicar más active and passives pero si sí, necesitamos saber estos pronombres muy bien para que no confundirnos después okay okay, okay. thank you okay. okay thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Good night. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry. Good evening. Oh, teacher. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. good night. Good night. Teacher. Uh, I'm sorry. I hit my head. I'm, that's why I'm. I'm I have a question. Sure. Sure. What uh, is your question? For, for the the exercise. Uh, in exercise one point nine, no object check. Did you open it? Yes. Did it open? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. 
You need to check it. Wait a minute. Yes, I need to because uh, all the sentences was wrong. Uh, is uh, in the exercise said complete the sentence and use the simple present passive form of the verb in brackets. Okay, and, and Elizabeth, can we do one thing, please? Uh, I'm sorry. Can we do this tomorrow before the class starts? Me voy a meter unos tres minutos antes o cuatro. Okay. Porque okay. tengo okay. que irme a otra clase ahorita. Okay. 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 Yeah, teacher, thank you. We'll correct it tomorrow. Thank okay. You. Yeah, thank no problem. You. No problem. Oh, me, me escriben al WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs>